Welcome everyone to wonderful Henderson, Nevada. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas, and we're out here in Seven Hills, about 25 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, bringing you a new listing today. I have a single story, three car garage, 2,277 square foot home. It's gonna be three bedroom, three bath, and it's been completely remodeled top to bottom. It's absolutely spectacular inside. Whoever remodeled this one and did the, uh, the staging for it is just fantastic. So anyways, I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. We're gonna go take a look. We're gonna look at everything. So follow me, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss these tours that come out every other day or so. Let's go take a look. And if you like this video, of course, hit that thumbs up and leave me a like. Thank you so much. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, everyone, here we are, 2,277 square feet, listed for just under 750, three car garage, completely remodeled. It feels much bigger than 2,200 square feet, I must say. And it has some unique features that are fantastic. So for example, when you see homes like this, I just wanna take a look down the right, actually. Um, I apologize for the noise. The carpet cleaning truck is here and cleaning carpets not here but next door but i just want to look down this right side so yeah mature landscape grass in the front yard just block wall over here uh, anyways when you see these homes with the three car garages that are split with the three one i'm sorry three one the two one where you have two on one side one on the other uh, typically this garage is like a toy car garage there's not usually an entrance into the house from that garage when you see a setup like this well, this one's different. They have the entrance into the house and, and it's great to have that as well as the extra garage door opener. So as we walk up, you can see they have redone the front door, very modern, tall, good looking front doors here. I love the smoke glass, although it's not gonna let in as much light as if it wasn't there. But I do like the privacy from it. Okay, as you walk in, you can just see wide open floor plan, super tall ceilings. I love the beams they've put in the top. That's a great look. So they've designed this home, staged it, remodeled it all kind of in the same, same feel. So all the design is gonna match the aesthetics, is gonna match the remodel. So off to the right immediately, we have a den. So it's a three bedroom, three bath with this office. It's kind of an open office concept and they've decided not to waste the space above and give you a loft up there. So I will climb the ladder here, give you a quick look up at the loft. So just the same flooring as downstairs. You could have a double office, uh, sitting room, reading room. I mean, there's so many things that you could do up there. All right, here you are. So we'll swing around and pan through the entire home. And then we're going to take off to the left here first. Front door immediately to our left. So around this side, we're going to have the traditional coat closet. They painted and redid the baseboards inside the closet. It's always a good sign. The little touches. We check out the two car garage. Again, they've changed out all the door handles and most of the hardware. Some of the hinges stayed in place. It's probably a matter of what made sense for that particular door, but most of the interior doors have the hinges changed. Water heater, pretty standard two car. Do have a powder room half bath here to the right, right inside of the two car garage. And this is gonna be just a nice guest bed. Very clean, remodeled, of course. Same aesthetic, staged. I like the mirror, simple lighting. Take us back towards the primary. All of the carpet's gonna be this low pile, high-end carpet with a really nice, really nice pad. You can almost see the pad. Lots of natural light in here. Of course, there's no window coverings or treatment. King size bed. 
also have a door going out to the backyard. Head over into this primary bathroom. Big glass shower, freestanding tub, kind of in its own little platform with the very large tiled backsplash and then the herringbone floor tile. Great look. They did an amazing job. Everything in this house is top notch. Very inviting bathroom. Back to that same light wood look laminate that we saw in the rest of the home. Water closet to the left here with a door. It's pretty standard. And then I really love this vanity with the sinks here and the way this looks in the setup. And that's just not, that's not your normal, ordinary Home Depot vanity, you know? Very cool lighting as well. Those light bulbs are actually fairly expensive, I found out. They look really cool, but they are, uh, for a light bulb, they're fairly pricey. I still really like them, <laughs> of course. And then this big open concept closet with all the built-ins. Looks very, very high-end style closet. Plenty of actual racks. I mean, very, very cool. I like the way it's done. And the height of the home just gives it an extra, extra size feel to it, I guess. You know, like I said, didn't feel 2,200 square feet. And I think that the height of the ceilings have a lot to do with that. Wow, that carpet is very padded. Feels great. Okay, so that's going to be the primary, which is separate from all the other bedrooms. That's great to note. So if you need privacy in your prim primary bedroom, you're on the other side of the house. All right, so coming back here behind the kitchen, we have the first bedroom uh, outside of the primary. Again, that very uh, high-end, low-pile carpet. Excellent ceiling fan for the size room. You're gonna get a lot of wind out of that. And then kind of the twin room here. However, instead of the closet, you do have the walk-in in the back. Same ceiling fan. As noted in other videos, I like when the bedrooms have the same ceiling fans, especially like the other bedrooms. This one does have a nice walk-in closet here in the corner. Uh, again, a good sized bedroom, and I think the ceiling height definitely adds to uh, the, the feel of the, of the house. Okay, so over here is, uh, is the laundry room, and it's gonna be one of the pass-through laundry rooms. You know, you have your washer dryer here, a little shelf above. And then this is the door I was talking about where you actually have access to this single car garage, which is very cool. So this is gonna be that single car side. Uh, garage door open, you can park here and come in. And that's a great feature for a home. Because again, those are usually toy, toy car garages they typically don't have uh, access. Couple little linen cabinets they've added here, which are really cool. And then this full bath that's uh, shared by these two bedrooms. So you do have your guest baths. So your guests don't need to use this bath. I love the stone here. It's kind of an old looking stone, but very clean, obviously. Um, so they kept the same, you know, tub and, and they just changed out, like looks like the back. But that may even be, um, older as well it's just very well kept it looks super clean that stuff that tile work uh they probably added it seeing the rest of the house i'm surprised they didn't do the tub they did every single thing else in the house sometimes there's an issue that they just can't get around and maybe it's just not worth doing the tub like what if it's you know 20 grand because of something going on in there it's just like not worth it so whatever it was in here they opted out of the tub uh it was probably a technicality, not a monetary issue because looking at everything else in here, it doesn't look like they really cut any corners or skimped on anything at all. This is very well done. So in front of us right away, we have this little uh, breakfast nook table and then the former dining over there to the left. 
My favorite part of the kitchen, I think, is this island. I love the texture on this island. It almost looks like a cement, but it's it's softer. I mean, it's as hard as cement, but it's not like, it's not, I guess, rough and cold like cement. Like it's got a nice feel to it. And then these bar stools, shaker cabinets in gray, the open shelving up there, I do like. However, I think I do need a little bit of overhead storage possibly. Yeah. Then there's going to be a big dining room here. And then they have some built-ins over here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, if you can see it on camera, how deep that is. And then I'm not sure what goes here. Uh, there's a plug. It looks like there's room for maybe a little desk or something, but there's a plug there and then a little, looks like maybe a cat five. Interesting. So there's a little cut out there for something, but you have room for your refrigerator over here on this side. Those really pretty cabinets over top. Yeah. So they have GE, LG, all stainless appliances. Really, really beautiful hood they've put over this range. Maytag upgraded range here, gas. And they have a nice little carving butcher block to the right as well. That's pretty cool that you don't see very often. Single basin sink. Just get you outside, take a quick look. I love the lighting as well. Big dining room, plenty of room for everything in here that you would need. Huge table, plenty of chairs. Then look at this decking. So instead of, you know, concrete tile pavers, they went with this kind of siding for the house, I guess. It's really, really good feel on the feet. Um, I do like the look of it too. So they thought of everything out here. Covered patio, privacy, good size backyard, turf, rock, real simple to take care of. Some mountain views down there. But yeah, that's it. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. 757 Hills, completely remodeled. Just beautiful, beautiful home. They did a fantastic job. Any questions, give me a call and uh, I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much.